Hello Focus and Fiesta owners with the dual clutch DPS6 automatic transmission, power shift, whatever you want to call it. I want to share some information here and this uh, comes in regard to the certain set of codes you may have which involves issues with the synchronizers in the transmission. This has six synchronizers in it and it has reverse too. Um, and if you have issues with the synchronizers it can set trouble codes uh, I'll list them in the description below. There's a lot of them. P072 something, it just depends. P073 and P074 something with a letter at the end of it. And what that signifies is there's an issue with the synchronizers or the TCM. But if you've determined that you have a synchronizer issue, which there may be an obvious noise, such as a crunch or a grind, and you don't want to replace your entire expensive six seven thousand dollar transmission brand new or get a used one and have to deal with all that if you get a used one always replace the clutch and forks in it unless it's been done recently anyway before you replace your transmission get uh, two quarts of this and uh, it takes 1.75 quarts but this is highly friction modified first off i'm not sponsored by anybody on this channel i'm not sponsored but this fluid is heavily friction modified and it is known to seriously mitigate uh, grinding synchronizers. So if you have a synchronizer issue, maybe just once in a while you hear a little crunch during a certain year and it's setting the, one of the codes listed in the description and it may be skipping that one particular gear. If you're skipping like three gears, then you have a clutch or actuator issue possibly. But if it's just skipping one and it has one of the codes listed below and you hear a crunch or a little grind once in a while, Try this stuff before you replace your whole transmission. You may just get another eighty or 100,000 miles out of it. Mine grinds horrendously bad in the second gear. It is getting worse. Um, you probably have seen my videos uh, where it wasn't that bad at first, but it's getting pretty bad. Therefore, I don't want to waste this. I want to use it on the transmission that I'm already building for this. And then I'm going to take this one out and tear it down and show you guys the carnage. And show you guys rebuilding it too if you want. It's on you. It's up to you. Uh, check the description below if you want to see if this applies to you. I'll list the codes. And uh, regardless of if you have codes or not, if you hear a little grind in the transmission, like a synchronizer in a manual transmission, if you miss a gear, that sounds exactly like that. Not a clutch rattle or something. It's a different sound. But uh, you're more than welcome to try this fluid. It's a 7580, so I think that would work perfect for this transmission. And obviously, being a synchro mesh, it's going to be GL4, designed for transmissions. And if, if you guys don't know, it's friction modifiers are designed to, in transmission fluid like this, kind of aid with worn synchronizers and kind of quiet them down a bit. And this has a lot of it, all of the uh, friction modifiers in it. Sorry about that. And if you do your research on it, you know that people have recommended this. Particularly like Honda guys with grinding synchronizers, it gets rid of it for a while or for a long time. But a lot of them say it's a band aid fix. But obviously, if you got a worn synchronizer, it's something that'll get you down the road for a while longer. Like I said, maybe 80 or 100,000 miles. Who knows? It just depends on how bad your synchronizer is. You might get rid of the check engine light. You might get your gear back that you're missing. So don't spend the money on the transmission just yet. This is like $20 a quart. Might as well try it. Hope this video helps. You guys have a great day. Good luck to you. If you have any questions, write it in the comments below. Have a fantastic day.